the sense of the Holy Spirit guidance, meaning the Holy Spirit lead us by the Word of God. But if we have been walking with God long enough, we know there are <coughs> subjective guidance. Do you know what is subjective guidance? means the Lord reveals to you personally, telling you what exactly to do. And through your praying to Him, through your knowing of the covenant and enjoying deep prayers with Him in your walk with God. You see, in Acts, I give you an example. In Acts, the apostles pray to the Lord and they know how to make crucial decisions at crucial moment. When to stop, when to go forward. Remember when Paul was thrown into the prison in Philippi? Remember? What did he do? He was flocked, thrown into the prison. And then after that, that night, he prayed and praised God. Angels came and then he saved the whole household of the jailer. Remember that? And then after the next day, when people they were going to get rid of him, he took out his Rome citizenship. Hey, I'm a Roman citizen. Am I right? You, you think about that. If, if you were him, you would take it out right away. Hey, hey I'm a Roman citizen. How can you flog me? No. But why did he have to go through the pain, the flogging, the chain, save someone? And then after that, next day, present his citizenship. Because he has received clear guidance from the Holy Spirit. He has heard from God. This is very subjective. But why do, you, why do you think God reveals to him and not to other people? Because he has been praying deeply to God, walking with God closely. That's why in crucial moment, desperate moment, the Lord reveals to him. I have heard pastors. I have no pastors. They are 100% right doctrinally. But they are very dull spiritually. At crucial moment, they cannot receive crucial guidance from God. You get what I mean? Now, this is the subjective part. The subjectivity of... The word is objective. The word is the truth. It doesn't change. But when you are facing with different issues in your life, if you're walking with God close enough, you will hear Him convict you. It's not just peace. This is from the word, from the living spirit. And in that at that juncture where you need that conviction, God give it to you. And you need that when you are shepherding people, when you're ministering to people, when you are in mission work, in all kind of crucial ministry, you need that kind of judgment that is given through the subjective conviction of the Holy Spirit. <music>